among all the internal organs digestive tract plays an important role as it is exposed to a large variety of stimuli in the form of ingested food the digestive tract consists of both the muscular and neural apparatus they ensure the appropriate mixing of contents during digestion absorption and excretion the neural apparatus which consists of vast and complicated network of neurons is named as second brain by the scientists the gut present in immune system protects our body from harmful diseases the neurons or second brain help the gut cells to kill the bacteria which enters our body the neurons or second brain in the digestive tract along with the main brain in our skull determine our mental state and play a key role in certain diseases throughout the body let us learn in detail about the role and functioning of the second brain the second brain consists of some 100 million neurons this is more than the nerves present in spinal cord or peripheral nervous system these neurons in the second brain are embedded in the walls of long tube of our gut or alimentary canal this is about 9 meters long extending from esophagus to anus the second brain controls several functions of the gut without the influence of the main brain such as stimulating and coordinating the breaking of food absorbing the materials mechanical mixing and expelling of waste these functions require chemical processing mechanical mixing and rhythmic muscle contractions few scientists believed that a very complicated system works to move the food material smoothly to and out of our gut let us learn how the wastes from gut flow out of the body the two major pathways which expel wastes from our body are shown on the screen now let us learn how the wastes move out of the body from the large intestine take few leftover tea leaves and roll in your hands place this on a tissue paper and press it gently and then open we will notice the tissue paper absorbed the water from the tea leaves in a similar way when the wastes like stool or feces enters the large intestine the water gets reabsorbed the hard mass like substance wastes get stored in the last part of the rectum the stool enters the rectum with the help of peristaltic waves the left side of the colon acts as a storage tank of feces from the rectum the fecal mass called stool is finally expelled out of the body through anus two muscular layers help in the exit of stools from the body through involuntary control voluntary control these two muscular structures which help to open and close the aperture canal are termed as anal sphincter 